Okay, the beer's done, and so now I'm going to take the time to review it. And I think this is an important step because so often you see people talk about a new recipe, maybe a process, piece of equipment, things like that, but they never come back and say, did it work out? They never describe the outcome of the effort. So I want to make sure to do that here for you because again, the whole point of this one was to bump up our original gravity using corn sugar in a double IPA. So throughout this uh, short video, I'm going to have different links that I post up here on suggested references to some of the steps along the way. So if you're interested in this, you can hit those links and it'll show you some more detail along the process. So we might as well get right into it and um, pour some beer and do some uh, tasting. What I'm going to do is I have the beer on tap, the one that we finished up, kegged and carbonated. I've got the version of it pre-dry hopping. I thought that'd be kind of interesting. And then, of course, the commercial version that we're actually comparing to and what really inspired this. So let's start by popping open the uh, cap on the pre-dry hop version. This one's not carbonated, but we'll still get the essence of the flavor. Next, I'll go ahead and open up the commercial version. This is this is Elysian's Space Dust. Very popular beer. You might even be able to get it in your area because it's very well distributed. Then lastly, take a glass off the tap of our beer that we're going to evaluate. So first things first, let's just take a look at the two that are probably the most important, the finished product of what I brewed and the Elysian Space Dust. This one's just kind of for interest and fun. So to recap on the brewing day, Watch the video up here. It talks about everything we did in the addition of the corn sugar. Let's dive right in and take a little taste. Definitely fruity tones. Has a lot of citra and amarillo hop in it. Tastes of lesions. Mmm. There's some differences for sure. I think mine has a little, little more of the uh, hot fruitiness in it. Um, they're super good. Of course, both are. Um, as comparison, let me go to the one without any dry hop. A bit sweeter. Yeah, the dry hop definitely. <laughs> It's an important step in this. <clears throat> so let's talk about the, the final numbers on the beer. The beer that I did, I was shooting for 8.2% alcohol, came out 8.6. The reason for that is I wound up adding the two uh, pounds of corn sugar. Should have probably only added the one and a half as I originally thought and planned on doing. I was so focused on bumping up the original gravity, I didn't fully understand what to expect as far as the final gravity. Starting gravity for this one was 1074. It finished way down at 1.008. So I thought that was, that was kind of interesting. A little drier than I expected as well. I wanted a drier body, but maybe a little overdone. Also at 8.6, it certainly has that alcohol presence, which I kind of like. I wouldn't say it comes across as boozy, but it definitely is there and, and you can detect it. So I would probably, again, not go so heavy on the corn sugar. As far as the dry hop goes, used five ounces altogether, citra and amarillo, and I did the recirculation in the fermenter during that process. That link is right up there. Very interesting uh, for those of you with conicals. Gives you something to think about at the very least. So I think we've got it covered. Beer came out good. 
I would definitely still consider using corn sugar in, in the future. I'd be a little bit more guarded with it. Again, if you're doing a five gallon batch for most of what you're going for in that little bump up in the OG, a single pound would probably be good enough. For me, going to seven and a half, eight gallons, one and a half would probably get the job done. Um, beer is super good. The non dry hopped one, definitely a bit lacking. So there you have it. Hope you got something out of this. Focus on the corn sugar, the impact to the beer using it. Worth a try. If you've never done it before, I think be sure to watch the video on the brew day and give it a shot. Your results will probably be pretty good. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and sip on these a little bit more. Go ahead and uh, render this video and put it up online. Mm. Take care. Thank you.